Today I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable rompers. Um, I also have prepared written instructions that will be put into the description in a PDF or a downloadable document that you can get. Um, I do not know how to make knitting patterns. So what I've done is made, to the best of my knowledge, um, well basically I just tell you what to do the way I did it and I have a little key at the top of it you'll see um, that tells you what the terms are and then how to do everything per row. So um, I hope that helps you out. This video is a little faster than other ones where I don't show you, like I'll show you the main part of what happened and then it'll just start at the next row and I'll show you the main part of what happened just for a couple little things. So um, this is a beginner knitting project and a beginner knitting uh, video, but it's definitely gonna take you longer than 25 minutes. Um, I would say a couple hours, uh, unless you are not a beginner and you're super fast, then it could take you maybe just a couple hours, but we are gonna knit the front piece first and then the back piece and then we're going to attach them. Then we're gonna make our cute little uh, neckties. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you like knitting and crafting and photography, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I do videos every week and we'll jump right into the tutorial. For this video, you're gonna need, I'm using the Yarn Bee Tinder Touch Rain. Um, it's a beautiful light gray, but any, um, but any size five bulky will should be good. It says to use six millimeter size 10. I'm actually using a uh, 10 and a half um, knitting needles. Crochet hook, I'm gonna be using uh, six and 6.5, but really anything in that five, six range would be good for you. We're only gonna do some two little chains. Um, a yarn needle. And I think that's it. So let's get started. Oh, also, um, so let me just show you my little thing here. <laughs> I wrote this pattern and it's really hard for me to remember where I am half the time. So what I do is write down what I've done and then uh, I mark it off. And then the back side, which was very similar to the front side, I highlighted. So what I'll do is, I don't know how to write a proper knitting pattern, um, but I can put the written instructions in the description or make like a downloadable PDF. So if you're kind of, if you kind of get confused as to where you are like I do, um, you can just get a highlighter and then mark off where you, uh, what you've already done and you'll know where you are. So anyway, I will do that for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is cast on and I'm gonna use the long tail cast on method for this. You probably need about two feet of yarn. Um, to start, we're gonna cast on 10 stitches. And the way we cast on, if you don't know how to long tell, I'll show you. If you do, you just fast forward through. You take your two fingers, your pointer finger and your thumb, and take your bottom two fingers and pull. So you have like a diamond shape, okay? And then you take your needle well, you can turn your hand over, it'll be easier to see, but you take your needle underneath the yarn closest to you on your thumb and in between, and then you take underneath the yarn closest to you on your pointer finger, and then you pull that through the yarn on your thumb. Now you have two stitches, but you don't want it to be like super tight or anything. Make your diamond, okay, <laughs> maybe. Make your diamond shape. Take your needle underneath the yarn closest to you on your thumb. Underneath the yarn, the yarn, <laughs> the yarn closest to you on your pointer finger, and then pull that yarn through the loop on your thumb. And now you have three. So underneath this yarn, underneath this yarn, and through the whole thing. And we're gonna do 10 of those, so we have four. Now it's time to start knitting. Turn around here. Okay. 
We're going to knit 10 across this row and then we're going to purl. So I'll show you what to do. Okay, to knit, you stick your knitting needle in the first stitch. So underneath this loop, this top part of this loop, so there's the back and then there's the front. So you put it right underneath the front part, but through the back of the needle. So it looks like that. Okay. Then you take your working yarn, not your tail, your working yarn, go around that needle, keep some tension, and pull it through. Then knock your stitch off. Okay. So to knit, we go under the top piece of this loop, put your needle behind this needle, take your working yarn around this needle, and then push it through, just like that, and knock the stitch off. We're going to knit down this whole row, now it's time to purl. We're going to purl this whole entire row, so to purl, you take your knitting needle under the top here, but we're, instead of going this way, we're going this way on the top. Your yarn is up front like it should be to purl. Okay, then we're going to take our yarn, put it around the needle, and push it through the back way. And take the stitch off. So one more time, put your needle through the front, this way from the right, take your yarn, put it around, push it through, and then pull your stitch off. And we are going to purl all the way down the line. Okay, so at this point we've cast on, then we knit a row, and then we purl a row. So now we are on row three, and row three, we're going to knit two, cast on one, then we're going to knit until we get down to right before our last two, and we're gonna cast on one, and then knit through the other two. So instead of having 10 across, we're now going to have 12 across. So let me show you how to do it. Oops. So we do our knit. One. Knit two. Okay. And then we're going to cast on one. Take your yarn. Take your yarn. Turn it around in your fingers where you have an, another loop. See that? Take your loop and put it onto your needle, okay? Let me show you again. So you take your yarn, turn it around in your fingers, and just put it on. And you cast on one, okay? And we're gonna keep knitting. The reason we're doing this is because we are making an increase uh, to the bottom of our romper or onesie. It's a good idea to keep track of counting where you are at as you are knitting. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> but I can visually see that I have two left on this one, so now it's time to cast on another one. So same thing, just take your yarn, turn it around, Put that on. You don't want to tighten it too much because when you go to the other side, um, it's going to be difficult. But just finish out the rest of that row knitting. Okay, and let's make sure we have 12 stitches now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. We are going to do the same thing purling up the back. So purl two, okay, 
and then cast on one. Pearl till we get to the last two, cast on one before the last two. And then we're gonna cast on one. Okay, so now we should have 14 stitches across. Oh my goodness, I'm all tangled up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. Okay, now from row 5 to row 12, we're going to do something a little bit different. And like I said, I'm going to put the instructions down in the description or as a download somewhere because um, I don't want to confuse anybody. We are going to do knit two, cast on one, and then just knit the rest of the row. Then we're gonna turn our work, purl two, cast on one, purl the rest of the row. So instead of doubling up one at the beginning and one at the end, we are going to purl up or cast on by one from rows five through 12, and then we will double up again. So let me show you what I mean. And I'm just going to show you on row 5 and then row 6. And then you can continue to row 12. So row 5, we're going to knit 2. Then we're going to cast on 1. And then we're going to knit the rest of the row. Okay, we're on row 6. We're going to purl 2, cast on 1. on one, oops. And then we're going to purl the rest of the row. At the end of this row, we should have 16 stitches across. Row seven, knit two, cast on one, and then knit the rest of the way down. Row eight, purl two, cast on one. And at the end of this row, you should have 18, 18 stitches. Row nine, knit two, cast on one. You should have 19 at the end of this row. Two, three, cast on one. Oh my goodness. Knit the rest of the row. Row 10, purl two, cast on one, purl to the rest of the, purl the rest of the row. One, two, you'll have 20 at the end of this row. Going up by one. Cast on. Wish I could knit continental. This would be so much faster. Row 11, we're going to knit two, cast on one, knit the rest of the row. We should have 21 at the end of this row. Row 12, purl two, cast on one. At the end of this row, we should have 22. And then purl the rest of the row. Okay, row 13, we're gonna knit two, cast on one. Then we're gonna knit uh, until the last two. Well, we're going to cast on one and then knit the last two, just like we did at the beginning. So knit two. Cast on one, knit down, and we should have 24 stitches at the end of this row. We have two left, we're going to cast on one. Knit the other two. Okay, 
Okay, row 14. We're going to purl two, cast on one, purl the rest until the last two, cast on one, and then purl the last two. So at the end of this row, we will have 26. We'll have 26 stitches of cross. So we are now on row 15. And we are just going to knit the entire row. We have done increasing and we're going to do stocking stitch, sorry, stocking net stitch from row 15 to row 32. So basically we're going to knit this entire row, then the next row we purl, then the next row we knit, then the next row we purl, and we alternate like that from row 15 to 32. Okay guys, so we are now on row 33. We've knit up this way from, let's see, row 15 to 32. And we are now going to start our decreasing uh, to make our arm, well, arm pockets like here. So the first thing we're gonna do and we're gonna repeat this from rows. Okay, we're gonna repeat this from rows 33, this one, to 37. So we're gonna knit one. And then we're gonna to knit two together. Okay, then we're going to knit until we have three on our left needle. And we're going to basically do the same thing at the end. So when we have our three, we're going to knit two together and then knit the last one. Okay, so we have three left, so we're going to knit two together. And you just push them together. And then we're going to knit one. The next row. We're going to purl one. And then we're going to purl two together. Same thing as knitting two together. Just put it under both of them. And at the end of the row, same as the knit, we're going to get to the last three and then we're going to knit these two, to, uh, purl these two together and then purl the last one. So this is row 34, row 35, knit one, knit two, Go down to the end, knit two, or sorry. So we just finished, so we just finished row 34. So 35, we're going to knit one, knit two together, knit, knit two together, knit one. Row 36, purl one, purl two together, purl, purl two together, purl one. And then row 37, knit, one, knit two together, knit down, knit two together, and then knit one.
So on 38, we're gonna start again with our stocking net, stocking net stitch like we did here. So we're just going to keep the amount of stitches we have on there and we're gonna purl. And so we're gonna do purl, knit, purl, knit, uh, that pattern from row 38 to row 42. So meet me back here right after you're done purling row 42. Okay guys, so we're on row 43 and we're going to bind off knitwise. So basically we just knit, then we knit another one, another stitch, okay? Then we take this stitch and put it over the top stitch. Okay, I'm really bad at this. So we take the bottom stitch and go over like that, okay? We knit. Now we take this stitch here and go over that stitch and off, okay? The stitch and go over and off. And our last one here. Okay. Let me just tie it off. Okay, so we are now done with our front. To start on our back, we are going to repeat everything we did from here up to here. Um, instead of going to row 32, go to row 31, and then meet me back here and I'll show you how to bind off purl wise at row 32. It's basically the same thing as binding off knit wise, you're just purling binding off. Um, so start Everything we did here, we're gonna go up to row 31. And then meet me back here. We are on row 32 on the back part. So you, I mean, I'm sorry. We're gonna bind off purl wise. So this, basically it's the same as knit. It's just purling. So purl. Purl, and then you take the second one, put it over the top, and off. Oops. There we go. Purl. And off. And do your purl. And off. And you just do this all the way down the row, just like with binding off knitwise. Okay, so we're done purling, binding off purlwise. And now it's time to cut this yarn. And what I like to do for some shortcut, because I'm all about that, <laughs> is cut um, a couple feet, get it long enough. And the reason I cut a couple feet is so when we sew our sides up, I don't have to tuck more yarn in and, and all this. I just, I don't know why sewing the ends in drives me crazy, but it really does. Okay. There we go. So now we have to sew our sides up and then we're done. So here, take the front. Oops, take the front. And face it up to you. And then you take the back. Now I like to sew um, the bottom first because it helps me keep these in line up here. So. I'm gonna sew that in first. So I'm gonna take my yarn needle and take one of these ends I've left out here. OK. 
Okay. Line it up right. Make sure and get the edge really good because if you don't, then it won't look as finished as it could. Okay. So now all we have to do is sew our sides up. Don't be dumb like me and sew the, the leg hole up on the last one I did and then had to <laughs> take it all out. Um, so once you sew your sides up, come back and um, we will do the crochet pieces for the neck. Okay guys, so now that our um, edges are sewn. We are going to make our crochet pieces, the tie around the neck. So what you're going to want to do is cut about five feet of yarn, five or six feet of yarn for both sides. So uh, cut two pieces and make sure they are the same length. So we're going to start crocheting. I like to crochet not from one right at the top, but one like right below that so it stays on really good and it doesn't pull like a hole that you get to see. I'll leave a little bit of the tail here. Okay. And to crochet, you stick your hook. And I pull both pieces and this piece is about a foot long. That way I don't have to sew any ends in. Just wrap your yarn around the hook and pull it through. And just keep your tension the same so your holes are the same size. I'm gonna hide this little end here so in here, just like that, okay. Okay, you can make these as long or as short as you want them to be. If you make them longer, then when the baby's turned over, you can have them kind of lean on, lay, you know, a, along the back or whatever. So. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I do put out weekly videos on photography, crafting, and art.